Aneki and I welcome you to speak down on finding out with special needs. Today I'll be talking to us about the importance of reading together with children. And for the next couple of days I'll also be talking about reading challenges, how to teach children reading comprehension, how to teach children fluency, how to teach um, vocabulary, is, um, for phonological awareness. I'll generally be talking about topics that, um, that has to do with reading and reading challenges about dyslexia and yay my new book will be out in the next couple of days it's titled the dyslexia bible and once it's out you would find information about it on social media it's going to be on amazon it's going to be on different platforms we're going to have an e-copied and also the hard copies so look out for it I'll also be having some um, reading. I'll be having book readings on it on different platforms. So please follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, subscribe to my YouTube channels so you can learn more about this book. I wrote it with all of the love and all the knowledge I have on dyslexia and the years of experience I've had working with children with dyslexia. It's actually a research and evidence-based book and that's why it's called the Dyslexia Bible. All you need to know about dyslexia and how to help children with dyslexia is in that book. Now back to the topic for today, the importance of reading together with children. A study was done a while ago and the whole essence of the study was to find out the peculiarities in children who are called good readers. And this study, in the, when the study was done, they found out five things that are common among good readers. The first thing is that they found that, that the families and family members of these individuals read books, magazines, and newspapers to these children. They read it first, they read it to themselves. They're always reading. So their family members, their uncles, their aunties, their mommies, their daddies read. They read newspapers, they read magazines, they read um, books in the presence of these children. Secondly, the study also found out that not only do they read, they read to these children. So they, 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 read and, they read and look at the book with the children, okay? They look at the books for those, they look at the books with the children, they read to them, okay? Now the third thing they found out is that, they, the study found is that they talk about, these parents and their, fam and their family members talk about the environment with the child. You know, they see trees, oh, that is a tree. They talk about the trees with a the child. They talk about cars. They talk about animals with these children, okay? The next thing they found is that they pointed out words in books and other media to these children. So if the children were, um, they saw a word like star in a, in a magazine or in a book, they pointed it out to them and explained what it was to these children. The thing also is that they took time to teach new words to these children. Not only did they point out these words, they took time to read and to teach these words to these children. So that was, those were the five peculiar things that the research um, identified. They identified that most good readers in their early years, in their preschool years, they had families who did these five things with them, which now resulted to them being called good readers. Now, we need to understand that pre-reading pre skills are very important in ensuring that children are good readers. Pre-reading skills does not necessarily have to involve books. You could use activities in your daily environment to develop good pre-reading skills in children because when you do that, realize that children identify words, they know the meaning of words, their language is being developed, and all of these things together help to improve reading skills in children let's take the mall the shopping shopping mall for example there's this very popular mall in nigeria called Shoprite. in that shop in that mall in that shop in that store you find out that they have different departments they have the food department they have the grocery department the milk department the drink department different kind of milks and drinks and foods can be found in that store a good way to help the child understand that the store, the store is for shopping for groceries or fruits is have the child read the label, the name of the store. So as you're entering the store, you have the child say shop right, whatever is the name of the store. So the child can connect that whenever we're at the store, we come here for shopping. 
is developing language skills, developing vocabulary skills, is understanding the use of, I mean, the connection between the name and the object itself, okay? Now, when you're on the store, you also want the child to identify some of the fruits the child is saying, that's, a, that's an apple, that's a banana, that's an orange. The words, the meaning, they go hand in hand. So the child is also learning vocabulary, it's learning new words. You might also want the child to read the words on the label of the different um, items in the store. So you want the child to read milk, sugar. The child is connecting the words to the meaning. The child is learning new words. The child is learning and building his or her vocabulary. So these are some ways of building um, pre-reading pre reading skills or in this children okay these are ways of building pre reading skills in children you could also use a time of sorting out the laundry so after washing you spread the cloth you can bring it out and the child can see that mommy's mommy's shirt is bigger than his own shirt or um, daddy's pants is bigger than his own pants that way you're building the child's pre reading skills by by the child learning vocabularies in you using those words now all of this information that you've done with the pre-reading skills help the child to improve language skills that which I've said it helps the child to improve language language skills and it also get the child ready for reading in school remember all of these things can be done whether the child can read or not at an early age now back to the main topic for today why is it important to read together with children one when we read together with children we encourage good language development with these children most of the examples I've given about the studies that we found out about our children are good readers and about the pre-reading activities just shows us that we, when we read together with these children, we help them to develop good language development skills, okay? The second one is when these children listen to us, reading to them, it forms a good base for good reading for them, okay? It's just the basis for reading for them. Listening to you read forms a good basis for them to read. The third reason why we used to we need to read together with children and to children is that children learn, learn how a book is being held, held. So you, the children see that you scroll the way you hold the book, you scroll it gently and then they flip to the next page. They also see the development of the ideas in the story. So they are able to follow through. The first page talk about the beginning, what happened next, what happened next. So the child is able to follow. Okay, the child is able to follow what the story is all about. The child is also able to see from the beginning to the end the connection in the story. Um, another important form of reading to children, the children can see that pictures can help give them clues about the story they are reading. So they see a picture in the book. I remember when my daughter first started reading, she looks at the story and tells me, she looks at the pictures and tells me what the story is about. So children are able to connect pictures gives a clue on what the story is all about and lastly new words in the storybook help to exp help the child to explore the child's world and it also develop good thinking skills so when the child he sees the word like happy or the child sees the word like eating the child's able to explore the world when they see other people eating other people happy and it also helps the child to develop good thinking skills so he can connect what he has learned with all those things i quickly run by the reasons again i can't go through everything today because there's so much you've learned today but why is important the reason why it's important for us to read to children are one it get it's really together to the, with the children help them to develop good language skills one secondly it helps them to is a basis for good reading in the children it has a basis for good reading skills in the children the third reason is that children learn how the book works the beginning the middle how to flip and how to get to the end of the book the fourth reading is that children can use pictures when they listen to you when you read together with them they use the pictures to be able to have clues about the story of the book you're reading to them and lastly the new words that they learn help them to explore their world and it also helps them to develop good thinking skills thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel like share invite others to come learn together with us and watch out for our various trainings that will be coming up very soon you'll find more information on the flyer until i come your way next time i remain lola Aneke.